Hello everybody, Brody Craney here and excited to be able to share with you a few things today. I'm just getting ready for a camping trip. You can see us working on getting back packed right back there. Um, this is my home. In the background here you see signs from my kids. Um, lacrosse uh, champion. Oh, there's my daughter right there. Wave Paris! Um, at any rate, uh, she cranked. She got uh, number one in all state team uh, pick. Did a great job. Um, the football team this year, boys football, boy, they cranked as well. Um, they took first in state, kind of happy to see those things taking place. Um, this is our home here in the background. And what do we have back here? We have our, our yard. Um, man, it, life is good. And life is just an amazing adventure. In fact, uh, they say that uh, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Um, I apologize, I've got one take to do this, and it may be pretty and it may not, but we're going to get it done so we can get on the road out to Yellowstone. Folks, um, you've just heard some amazing experiences about our product technologies. Technologies that transform lives. These technologies changed my life, they changed my mother's life, they changed my father's life, they changed my brother's life, my brother-in-law's life, and now tens of thousands of people across the globe because I shared with people who shared with people who shared with people who shared with people who shared with people. Um, what makes those things happen for some and not for others? What is it that, that is, is uh, so magical about network marketing? What will catch your attention? What will not? What will catch your attention about these products, about this business? Um, it depends on what you wake up to and what you let into your heart. Um, so some of you have, as you've heard these experiences, maybe you're thinking about being a customer of these technologies and using them. And there's going to come a point as you, as you experience this that you're going to think, I know other people that could benefit from this. Who wouldn't want better sleep? Who wouldn't want to make it so they didn't hurt? Who wouldn't want to be able to help other people? Who wouldn't want to be able to be an impact in, well, one or two lives, maybe one or two thousand lives, maybe a hundred thousand lives? What if you could make a difference? A, a, not a little difference, but a big difference. Um, the cool thing that Niken has for us is the ability to be part of a, of a big, huge, global um, wellness community. And when I say wellness, I don't just mean feeling good. I don't just mean um, being in a scenario where, oh, let me get this difference. The lighting's better behind me. I, I don't just mean physical wellness. But when I say wellness, I'm talking about balance, balance in the five pillars of, of wellness, having a healthy mind, a healthy body, healthy family, healthy society, healthy finances, not only the ability for, for you to have it, but for you to give that gift to others. I saw a really great uh, uh, quote uh, attributed at that point to Albert Einstein, uh, but he said that uh, life is, is like riding a bicycle. Um, you can only stay in balance if you're moving. But what are you moving to? What are you moving towards or what are you moving away from? There's a lot of people right now that have a lot of fears. Um, and, and rightfully so. The economy is a little scary. Inflation's going crazy. With supply chains are messed up. We're, we've ended the pandemic or have we? <laughs> is, is there more to that? Is it going to affect our work again? Is it going to rear its... Uh, rare its uh, experiences for us again this fall. We just don't know. And, and what's going to happen for our youth? Are they going to be able to afford the homes coming up? Are they going to be able to, to make it? There's a lot of people who are worried. We can spend our life moving towards worry, or we can spend our life moving towards action, action that can make a difference, action that can not only help our own situation out, but help the people who are all around us. So let me, when I learned about Nikan, I decided that I wanted to be a part of this amazing experience. I met people, people who were, who wrapped their arms around me, people who helped me. I met people who were going places, people who wanted to make a difference in the world, people who were contributing, contributing in a way that, um, that most people don't get a chance to do. A lot of people just show up to their work and then they're stuck. They're stuck doing whatever it is their boss wants them to do, and they feel they have no control about where they're going. And I saw people in Nikan who had control, people who, um, who had a purpose, who had a cause, who had hope, um, and who were excited about what they were doing. 
And I wanted to be a part of it. Not a little part, but, but a big part. And that's the cool thing about what Nikan has to offer is you can choose how much you want to add to this thing. Um, you can do a little or you can do a lot. Um, some game boards, unless you give it your all, you're out. Some game boards, if you give it your all, you're only limited. You are limited to what your boss says you're worth. And what I loved about this concept with Nikan is you literally can do as much as you choose. And the really cool part is you can empower other people to do the same thing. You can take people who think that they're stuck. You can take people who feel they have no hope, no purpose, no, no ability to be able to change and give them that hope and give them that empowerment. And when I saw the transformative nature of this business, I said, I, I want this. And the cool part is simple. When I say simple, um, you need some products. Get your products, use them, uh, share them with other people. Um, and as you share, um, provide hope with them. Hope that they will have the ability to share with other people. Teach them, go with them. The ABC principle where you never go alone, but every person that you launch in this business, help them with their first five to 10 appointments, maybe even their first 10 to 20 appointments till they're completely comfortable with the process, where to find the information, where to do what they do. If you do make this a we go business instead of an I go business, and you duplicate that, you make that a culture of your organization, things will have magic. And um, that's, that's what will make this global community thrive. Not just showing someone an opportunity, but helping pave the way for them to have an experience in the opportunity. I once heard some people talk about when, when, the best way to train somebody is to give them an experience. Uh, for instance, you're going to the airport. Um, you take them to the airport and you let them get on a flight and you come back. And then maybe they want to give somebody else the experience of that trip. You go with them so that they know how to get to the airport and come back. And then the third time, you just sit in the car while they're taking the journey and guiding their passenger. So Nikan is a lot like that. If you don't help people along the way, you don't become part of not only the experiential community, but the, but the guide. If you become part of the guide and make that culture throughout your team, magic, true magic can take place. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, a little bit more about this world, if you will, that is turned a little bit upside down. We have people who are in fear. And often, people who are in fear, I think, are looking out the rear view mirror of their car. When we go through life, we can, we can go through life um, only looking on our past experiences based on what, uh, what, what traumas, what things we were good at, what things we were bad at, what, um, what, what's, what's happened around us. And we can go through life um, in a reactive method. The other way is to look through the front of your car and not at the bugs on the windshield. There's always going to be bugs in the windshield. You, you take a journey, you're going to get bugs. But if when you go on this journey, um, you have a vision for where things are going and how they can be. Um, the Masuda hug. Humans being more. Those things are transformative. Way beyond what a business and money can transform. But they're all a part of this amazing package. Folks, I don't know of any other package out there that can do what Nikan can do. And I hope that you understand the power of what we have our hands on with that. So, one of the things about humans being more that I think empowers the world and, and empowers you. And maybe sometimes we need to remember. I remember in humans being more um, believing in myself more than I had ever believed before. I remember forgiving myself, learning to laugh at myself, learning that my fears are probably the same as everybody else's fears. Learning that if you can set a goal and cling to it, that there will be people who cheer for you and there are people who will, will deride, people who will mock. Sometimes even our closest family members will do that. And if we just have to wake up every day and look at that goal, look at your life cycle chart and say, what steps am I gonna take today to move towards what I want to create in my life? 
What am I doing today to become the royal diamond that I am? What am I going to do today that I want my downline to duplicate? I'm going to save those again. These are, these are huge guiding questions for your business. What am I going to do today to become the royal diamond that I am? And what am I doing today that I want my downline to duplicate? If, if you do those two things and realize that if you're doing nothing, your downline is probably going to be doing nothing. But if you're doing something and your organization feels your presence and sees what you're doing and where you're going, they're going to be duplicating the same. You get products, they'll get products. You go to events, they'll go to events. You create events, they'll create events. You go to um, appointments with your organization, they'll go to appointments. You create a Zoom and go, get on the Zoom with your member as they're sharing Niken with someone else they're going to learn to do that with other people. It's a business of duplication. What you do will duplicate throughout your organization through generations. And one of the things I'm going to ask you to duplicate with this crazy thing called Nikon, and because our products are so powerful, too often people get caught up in just talking about our products. It's, it's a terrible disservice. And, and by that, I mean that our products are only one part of the five pillars. Um, helping people to have a healthy family, <clears throat> healthy finances, healthy society. It's all a part that if, if you don't give and don't offer, um, you're, you're, you're robbing people of, of the rest of what Niken has. So I've often heard that when you row in your Niken rowboat, you need to row with both oars. One oar that you're gonna row with is the business talking about what this business can do, how it can generate, how it can duplicate. The other or is our products and the amazing things that our products can do. So in every event, in every conversation, in every three-way phone call, and every time you're introducing Nikan to people, are you rowing with both oars? If you don't, your business will stagnate. It just does. You can create a retail organization and eventually you run out of steam because by the time you've done it for five years or 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, um, or you get old, you're going to say, I can't do this forever. But if you duplicate and if you talk about the business and the, the, the people's franchise network marketing and how it can bring freedom, how it can bring peace, how it can bring balance, all those things, you are going to attract some amazing folks. Um, attraction. How do you attract people? People don't want to get on a, a cruise ship that's not going anywhere. No fun to just sit in harbor the whole time. But if your boat is going somewhere and you share with people where you are going, you will have the ability to attract masses. Are, do you have a vision of where you're going? Do you know where you want to land? Are you sharing that vision? And are you enrolling other people, not only in your vision, but how their own vision can be a part of where you're headed and how it's just all mutually beneficial. Folks, this is a global wellness community. We're all tied together. And uh, there's a lot of things that we can tie people up into that I, I don't think are good. I think there's a lot of rhetoric. I think there's a lot of things that are divisive out there. But if we could tie people up, bond them in these five pillars of wellness and the goodness that Niken has to offer and the vision that Mr. Masuda had of sharing love, of sharing balance, of sharing kindness. Um, Mr. Masuda uh, was, was a child uh, of the World War II era and he wanted to find a way in his heart. He, he wanted to find some way to be able to share peace. And I think that this amazing thing that he's created with Niken is an amazing mechanism for peace. So if you're looking for more peace in your heart, more peace in your finances, more peace in your neighborhood, more peace in our nation, there's never been a better time to get involved and to grab a hold of the Niken ship and row with both oars with all of your might. Love you all. Love what you do. I love your ability and I believe in you. I believe in Niken. I believe that if we have faith and we take steps forward, that there are helping hands somewhere else that will help us, that will guide us. So any rate, love you guys all. Hope you have a fabulous event today and uh, enjoy your Niken journey.